Hello students, once again welcome to Bolanath Academy. In this video, students, we are going to see the conical pendulum. In rotational dynamics, the part is there conical pendulum. What is conical, conical pendulum and its angular velocity and the time period expression that we are going to see here. Now students, before going to the conical pendulum, what is pendulum? From this definition, students, we are going to define the definition of simple pendulum and conical pendulum. So what is pendulum, students? A tiny mass that is also called as bob. The mass is called as bob connected to a long, flexible, massless, inextensible string and suspended to a support is called pendulum. So students, what is pendulum? A pendulum which is consists of a tiny mass we call as bob connected to a long flexible massless and inextensible string the string we are, we are going to describe the string it is a, should be long flexible massless inextensible string and suspended to a rigid support is called as pendulum when it is connected to a rigid support we, this arrangement we call as what pendulum now students which pendulum is simple pendulum when the simple pendulum if the string is made to oscillate start oscillating like this if the string is made to oscillate in a single vertical plane only one plane is called as simple pendulum understanding students you have to start the definition from here if you want to write the definition of simple simple pendulum your definition should always start from the pendulum a tiny mass connected to a long flexible massless inextensible string and suspended to a rigid support is called as pendulum when this if the string is made to oscillate in a single vertical plane it is called as simple pendulum now students when the the pendulum is called as conical pendulum when a simple pendulum whose bob revolves in word in a horizontal circle if it is revolving in a horizontal circle constant speed such that the string describes the surface of imaginary right circular cone is called as conical pendulum understanding students circular cone it is like this the diagram students it is here the this bob, bob is revolving like this understanding so at that time it is called as what conical pendulum understanding students so this is the definition of the conical pendulum now you are going we are going to consider a conical pendulum of a string length l this is the string and i have shown the here it is the the length of the string is what we have taken capital l understanding with its bob of mass this is the bob students let the mass of the bob be what small m i have taken what small m you have to this you have to pay attention this is the length of the string and small m is the mass of the bob now it is performing uniform circular motion understanding students it is performing what uniform circular motion along a circular path of the radius r now this is the radius students it is performing a circular motion and the radius of the path will be what small r now what happens students to this mass there will be the force of attraction through the string understanding we called as what the force is which type that is created by the tension there is there is a tension is created in the string now which is along the string understanding students now this ten tension is students it is resolved because of the uniform circular motion it is resolved into two component t0 cos theta which is vertically upward direction and t sin theta that is horizontal understanding students now t cos theta students will balance the weight of the bob that is mass and gravity understanding students these two forces are balanced to each other understanding students to the t sin theta students will balance the centripetal force that is called as m r omega square understanding because of this it will revolve in circular motion why it is moving in uniform circular motion so this is the because of these forces understanding students and because it is making it this is the theta now we are going to see t sin theta students this is the horizontal t sin theta will balance the mr omega square that is centripetal force because of that it will perform uniform circular motion now t cos theta equals to mg that is weight of the bob and the gravity will act on this bob so t cos theta will balance mg now when you take the ratio students t sin theta upon t cos theta students t0 t0 will cancel sin theta upon cos theta what is that students that is called as tan theta now here if you take the ratio students here mr omega square divided by mg now here students mass will cancel and what will be the remaining in the numerator in numerator students you will get r omega square in denominator you are getting only g that is gravity understanding students now what happens students but you know when you apply tan theta to in this triangle students tan theta is nothing but opposite upon 
adjacent the tan theta when you are talking about tan theta it is opposite upon adjacent that means r upon h understanding students so that is why i have written tan theta equals r upon h correct that is equals to r upon l cos theta understanding students this height is nothing but l cos theta now what happens students r omega square upon g equals will be r l cos theta understanding when you compare students that means you will get r omega square upon g will be r upon l cos theta now what happens students here the r radius will cancel now you are getting omega square upon g equals 1 upon l cos theta now when you cross multiply apply students you will get omega square equals to g upon l cos theta that means when you take omega upon numerator ratio omega upon 1 here i have not written students omega numerator ratio upon denominator ratio that is g upon l cos theta so omega square is students you are getting g upon l cos theta now what happens students this square will go on that side it will be converted into root so this omega is nothing but your angular velocity so angular velocity you can say is equals to root g upon l cos theta this is very very important expression in the conical pendulum how you are going to find angular velocity understanding so this is the required equation of angular velocity now students with the help of this only we can also calculate the time period students but omega students you can say you are knowing the we are learning from the ninth standard omega is nothing but 2 pi n understanding now we are comparing from the omega with root g upon l cos theta understanding students so 2 pi n so this pi 2 pi will go on this side so you are getting number of frequency that is 2 pi is equals to 2 pi n understanding where n is the frequency so you can calculate the frequency also frequency of the conical flannula the formula will be n equals 1 upon 2 pi root g upon l cos theta this is the required expression equation of the frequency so you can calculate the frequency also students now what happens students now third expression we are going to calculate that is called as time period so same way you are we are going to equate students 2 pi n equals to g upon l cos theta root g upon l cos theta now students what happened here n is nothing but 1 upon t frequency is equals to 1 upon time period that is t now what happens students if you find the time period this will multiply this side so this is the expression of the period of conical pendulum so this way we can calculate the angular angular velocity of the conical pendulum frequency of conical pendulum and the time period of the conical pendulum these are very important for the examination point of view if you like my video please share it subscribe it thank you thank you very much god bless you